Today we're practicing and working with some uh, whip illustrations. So you're gonna see my son Nathan. He's gonna be using a bull whip. Actually, this is a stock whip, right Nathan? Performance hybrid. Okay, performance hybrid stock whip. He's gonna be using it to cut flowers. He's gonna be using it to do a couple of different stunts um, at me and on me. Um, now there's reasons we're doing this. And the first, what I want you to know is when it makes the pop, and you're gonna see him cracking it in a minute, that to the end of this, it's breaking the sound barrier. That's what causes that sound. And so it mean, that means it's moving at just under 780 miles per hour for it to make that cracking sound. So that's how fast it is. And in a moment, I'm gonna hold a newspaper, I'm gonna put a flower in my mouth, he's gonna hold a flower or put one in his mouth. So we're gonna have some fun with it today. And so we're glad you joined us. Let's have some fun. Now you're getting ready to see Nathan cut a flower. Now, I want you to know this flower, um, we picked it, pulled it up, it's cut off from its root. And any time a flower is cut off from its root, it's gonna die. And what I want you to know, because everything we do has a reason, a point in life. And what I want you to know is that, uh, you know, our root is found in Christ. And when you're cut off from Christ, you don't have the life that you were created to have. You know, the Bible says in 1 Peter, it says, the grass withers and the flower falls, and that's what we're gonna see in a minute, the flower falls, but the word of the Lord lasts forever. And today we want you to know that God's word's true, and the truths in it are, are not just valuable for today, but forevermore, and it's never gonna change. And so we want you to know, forever truth, God loves you, God has great plans for your life, and according to the Bible, everything you've ever wanted in life, it's only found in Jesus Christ. Now, let's get to the whip cutting. Okay, now you're gonna see Nathan cutting paper out of my hand and a flower out of my mouth. Now, with this, I want you to know it's all about trust. Um, you know, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter three, it says, trust the Lord with all your heart and don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he'll make your path straight. And so trust, what trust means, like this flower in the paper, it's totally out of my hands. I can't, I don't have control. And a lot of times we try to pretend that we have control in life, but we're not in control of all the things around us. But when you put your trust and your faith in God, you can let go and you can rest in what he can do. You can trust him even if it's out of your hands. So maybe right now you're facing a situation and boy, you just feel like it's all out of your hands. Well, you're right. But I want you to know, it doesn't stop you from trusting God and putting your faith in Him and walking with Him in a way that looks beyond the situation to go, you know, I can't control the situation just like I can't control His whip. But what I can control is my heart and I'm gonna put my focus on God and Jesus and I'm gonna look beyond the situation, not to what's going on around me, but to who God is and I am going to trust Him. Because when you trust God with all your heart, I want you to know, God will never let you down. If your life belongs to Jesus Christ and you're following him with all your heart and you've got your faith and trust in him, you can trust him with everything. <laughs> 